Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. Remember, we are looking at the road to 2,000 subscribers. Support this channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for supporting this channel and coming back to this channel. If it's your first time, press that notification bell. Press the subscribe button. Support this channel. Channel. We are still looking at Oman and in today's video we are going to look at the 10 interesting things that you need to know about Oman and the labor law or the labor laws in Oman. Most things, you know, I keep on saying that most of these Gulf countries are not the same. Actually the Gulf countries are not the same. Each country has its own labor laws as it regards to employment or employment of expatriates or people coming outside their country to come and work. Remember, something I told you or something that I told you is that uh, uh, being in these Gulf countries or being in any foreign countries away from your country, it is a privilege and a responsibility. Because if it's a privilege, you are a few out of the people that are picked out to have that visa. Then where it says responsibility is if you don't follow the law and you get trapped into the law, the law does not know uh, does not know, I did not know, does not know, I don't know this. So you'll be captured into the law. In today's video, I have a summary of what the 10 interesting things that you need to know about Oman and the labor law. And I'm just going to get through, I summarize some of the 10 major things that you need to know, such that we can try to share for anyone that is planning to go to Oman or you're planning to have a visa, visa or you're planning to have uh, work or you've, you've got an uh, offer, employment offer in Oman, what are you supposed to know? Remember, just like any other country, there are laws that both employees and employers should follow. Remember, being a foreigner in a country in Oman is a privilege and a responsibility. You should be accountable for your actions and ignorance of the law. Excuses, the law excuses no one, which means that if you have committed an offense, you are not aware of, you are still reliable. What is hindered, what is hindered, or what is included in the labor law? In the new labor, uh, basic requirements need, need for the employees to be granted job in command, including having what you call a work valid work permit or being physically fit before you can have work. That is one. For you to have a job in Oman, you must be physically fit. Remember, we talked about what you call the medical test. We talk about the medical fitness test that you must pass that test to, 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 to assure your employer that you are fit and ready to work. Number two, valid work permit. Remember that it is it is deemed to be illegal to work in Oman without a valid working permit. If both parties do not abide with the rules, there is a correspondence penalty. Meaning, if your employer recruits you from wherever he is recruits you, it is his responsibility to look for you a working permit. Otherwise, if you are good without a working permit, then both of you and your employer will be given what you call female, female, female penalties. Then still we look at employers' employment contracts that if most of the workers or workers in Oman run on what you call employment contracts. So when you come into Oman, you must sign or you must have signed an employment contract with your worker that allows you to stay in that country and allows you to work and allow to that particular work at that time. Remember, Another one is entrance and employment visas. All individuals planning to visit and stay in Oman should acquire what you call a visa. This may miss this may be this may be employment visa or it may be a visa or mixed visa. But remember, this is going to specify how much time or the duration of the time that you're going to stay in the country. Another point, salary under the labor laws of Oman, the basic salary is Oman Real 290. The salary excludes allowance and includes benefits which, which should be paid in time. The salary, remember, it excludes, it excludes allowances and industrial individual benefits 
which they, uh, which must be paid in time. We look at another one is Illumini. I show you them. We say all employees in Oman are entitled to what you call the minimum benefit, such as uh, salaries, allowances, board, lodging, and what we call the vacation, the vac, um, the vacation uh, leave. Then working hours in Oman, the law provides a maximum of 44, uh, 40, 45 working hours per week. This is roughly nine hours per day. But during Ramadan, uh, Ramadan, the employer work for for the employer the, the employer works for um, uh, employee works for, for for that company for that uh, 45 uh, 45 um, 45 hours. And remember, if it's going to be Ramadan, then probably it's going to be. Uh, uh, six hours because Ramadan period it's a shorter period of time or, or work that is being allocated at the same time then overtime we look at another one's overtime and employees are entitled to overtime if they are paid overtime compensation can be in two options remember there is an additional payment which is equivalent to 1.25 Oman Real or to 2 Real of Oman Real in case an employee works in what we call an hourly rate. Then the types of leaves, there are many types of leaves which include sick leave, annual leave, maternity leave and emergency leave. And there is no way your employer or your employer has to deter you to have such kind of leave because it is your right or because it's your right to have such kind of leave. Hope I've tried to share with you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, support this channel by subscribing. This makes from the next creation. See you again in the next video.